It's a really nice spring day here in Portland. You can hear my neighbor mowing her lawn. It's so nice. So I thought it would be fun to go on a really long walk with Charlie and take you on a little free library tour. Let's go. First stop is a newer little free library in my neighborhood. This one seems to have some pretty good books. Isabella Allende, some Maria Simple. I've never heard of this book by her. Jojo Moyes. I'm very tempted to take some of these home, but this trip is not about taking books home. It's just about showing off the little free libraries in my neighborhood. So I'm gonna try and go through this and not take any home. another one this one's kind of quirky looking it's in a bucket of rocks the doors to this one are kind of hard to open but in general I've been able to find some good books in this one I've taken a couple home from here one's a little sad. I could use some love and attention, but hey, Tell the Wolves I'm Home is in here. That's one of my favorite books. It also has a decent kids selection. I love this one. It's hidden in these bushes and then it has this like little, I don't know, elf and baby Jesus set up or something like that. Just kind of a little mossy forest roof. Some interesting choices in here. Little Marie Kondo. This one is the Multnomah County Library's Everybody Reads selection. I've been going through it slowly. Oh, some Zac Efron. And in case you want to learn how to cook with beer, just fix that up. So I looked up a really weird summer when I got home from this walk, and it's a book that was published in 1990. There's about eight reviews on Goodreads. It's about 12-year-old Nels who's staying with her relatives in an old inn and finds a secret passageway and meets a strange boy whose family is trapped in a leftover pocket of time. Pretty tempting. looks like it has some really great books in here. I've actually, this is the first time that I've been to this little free library. It's on a street that I don't normally go down during my regular walks, but it has some good options here. Jodi Picoult, Girl on the Train. is pretty cool. It's a Black Voices, Black Stories Matter box, and the person who runs it keeps books by Black authors in here. I like the idea of a specialized little library, of like a curated one, one that kind of has a very specific genre or type of author or uh, just one like this Black Stories Matter box. I think that's kind of cool. It's an interesting way to do it rather than just like a catch-all box for books. one. It's a little sad. Some world encyclopedias. I don't know. There's a Nora Roberts in there. It could use a little love. I do like the blue color though. 
I like how rustic this one is. It's very simple. But you've got some good choices here. The Book of Speculation, that's a great book. Here's one that has a good selection of both adult and children's books. I walk by this one pretty regularly and it can be hit or miss. Sometimes I have found good books in here. Other times it's just kind of like, pass on by, thank you, next. Good selection of children's books this time around though. Here's another one that I love. It has one of those mossy roofs again. I just find it to be really playful and creative. And actually there's some really good titles in here. Some of them I am tempted to take home, but no, I'm not going to. Not this time around. This time around we're just browsing. the final little free library for this tour. I love how this little free library is decorated with the spines of books and titles. This one always has a great selection of titles, really eclectic from thrillers to more literary fiction. There's also a good children's selection as well. So that's it. Those are the little free libraries in my neighborhood. Thanks for coming along with us.